Hey everyone, I'm Tythonus, and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. So this episode, we're going to continue on with the MSQ in Stormblood. Uh, I think Mom, Jamil, and Ashley are already ahead of us. They're at the eight-man trial, waiting for us to get caught up. I have done something here. Mom will find out when this episode goes up, and she'll find out a little bit after that, or before this. Yeah, it goes up. But anyways, uh, yeah, so I switched back to Row as my mother wanted me to switch back desperately she really likes it really liked my row so i'm gonna go back to row and that's what i'm gonna be for the rest of the game i'm not switching again i'm not switching again i'm stuck so no more fantasias row is what i am row is who i am that's what i'm going with so anyways we're switching back um and we're gonna continue on with the msq and see what it has in store for us so let's hop into it and go from there Okay, talk to Conrad. <clears throat> and just keep your weapons ready and a chance to come face to face with soldiers on the en route. Route. Okay. Alright, Brent, come on. For the Emperor. And I said for the emperor, and you didn't say for the emperor. Huh? What? What do you mean? I said I said for the emperor, and you didn't say for the emperor back. Was I supposed to? Yeah. Where where am I? It's like for remember when we played Dark Tide? For the emperor. Oh. Yes. Okay. Blood for the blood god. Well, get your Dark Tide out of my Final Fantasy. Rock and Stone. Get your DRG out of my Final Fantasy. Rock and Stone, brother. I believe in Sephiroth. Sephiroth! Where's Jeremy at? Is Jeremy even alive? I don't know. He died when he was talking poop. No, because he's still in the, the thing, but he's... Here, bro. Britain, where are you, dude? Going to the quest. I don't see on my Oh, wait. Oh, you're on a different part of the quest, I think, than, than I am. There's a goat after me. What, what's, uh, what are you on? What's, what's it say to do? Rising fortunes. Rising spirit. I think. Yeah, you're on a different part. I almost said rising sprites. Rising sprites. Rising sprite from Coke. This video is sponsored by. This video is sponsored by Coca Cola. <laughs> it's not actually sponsored. Please, Coca Cola, don't say it. Well, there's Jeremy. He's not dead. He lives. Oh, current. I am indeed alive. Did are you, you alive? Yeah, please prove that you're alive. <laughs> Proof of life, please. Uh, I, I can give you my ID and my security number. No. no, that's not proof of life. A bot can ask that nowadays. How about like something only Jeremy would know? Yeah. What what game did we play last together? That's not this game. That's, it, he could hack his Steam and he would know. Oh, Pilgrim, uh, you're right. No, I got a question that he, only he can answer. What is the name Sorry. of your rabbit? Poot. Oh, okay. What did you eat for breakfast? Mm, uh, yes. Waffles. Poot. Oh. Poop. Poot. Nope. <laughs> he ate poot. Poot is dead. Jeremy poop. ate his rabbit. Oh, poop? Yeah. You shouldn't do that. It's not healthy. Well, There's no protein in poop. A lot in of poop. protein. A lot of protein. Uh, uh, that, you are not a rabbit like poop. There's tons of protein in there. I don't think so. I don't think that can be true. Yeah. 
Don't, 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 uh, dung beetles do that. Right? What? Roll poop? Eat, eat, eat. They ro roll? I don't know what they do, actually. Never mind. Got another roll they poop. No they make it big old turd balls, but. I know they do that, but I don't know if they eat it. I don't think they do. Sounds very unhealthy. They should stop. <laughs> they should they eat should that. That's gross. They should work out like Travis. Go to the gym. They should. Get some they do eat protein. Or at least their <laughs> larva eats the feces. Better for you. That's why they roll it into balls. Jeremy comes in here, he's like, actually. Actually, going to the gym. Sorry, I was dealing with my rodent. They Your roll it into balls poop. and then they put um, their larva in the middle of it, I think. I'm not certain. Um, and then their larva eats the poop. You better be sure this is being recorded right now. It's going to go on the internet. People are going to. I listen. Tell you I don't wrong. know a lot about dung beetles. All I know is they're really good at cleaning up poop, and I can't see how they'd be very good at that if they don't dispose of it somehow. Do you think it would be beneficial as humans? Instead of pooping into toilets, having dung beetles around our house and just we just poop on the floor and then roll it up. No, because no, you would get E. No. coli by being around so much poop. Well, you do it in the basement and you just let the dung beetles do their thing. Well, you'd still have Meaning, the problem yeah, with that dangerous. just that that filth just circulating through the house through your air systems and all that. I have stuff. a really good idea. No. I have a really great idea. I highly doubt that. No. Jamil's gonna like it. I okay. don't like it. Yes, you, <laughs> shut up, you don't I even don't know what like it is. I don't like it, alright. <laughs> shut up, you don't know what it is. <laughs> the fact that's it. coming from you, I don't like it. <laughs> shut up, it's a great idea. <laughs> Men's retreat. Instead of those stalls, we just have dung beetles. <laughs> Ew. Ew. I, I wouldn't need them, because I don't poop there, so... <laughs> oh, well, they just roll them you into know? the forest, though. You could, do, you could, like, do a dookie right there in the middle of the woods, and then just roll uh, it into the forest. It's gone. I'd rather wait till I get home. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind, then. Okay, never mind then. Yeah, that was a good idea for a second though. Yeah, I guess. What if we had a What if we had a flamethrower and it lit it on fire after you were done? I'd like that. Like instead of like you know how John makes that, like that fire, you know? Then we would smell it. That's the only thing. Just oh well, you just let it burn away first. Mm. But you still smell like it, it's. It's particulate matter. Like you, you can't <laughs> escape that. <laughs> Just smell oh it. Gosh. It's like the other day at work. <clears throat> the other day at work, I don't know what it was, but some horrid smell started coming from in our freaking kitchen. I don't know what it was, but it was just awful. It smelled so terrible. Like it smelled like death incarnate. It was awful. And everyone's like, oh, I didn't have anything bad. I'm like, somebody did something in here. And, de and destroyed this kitchen. It is bad. Like this is this does not smell healthy. And like you, sh what, like if you cook something, you shouldn't be eating it. Like it smells like, like a raccoon ran out under the middle of 422 and got hit by a car, and that's what you're eating. <laughs> like it's it's bad. And like I'm like, am I having a stroke? Because I smell something like death. And like I had to have like people come over and check. And I'm like, oh nope, something doesn't smell right. Something died. And I'm like, what? Yeah. What died? And then it just it just it just went away. It, it was gone. So I don't know what happened. It's weird. It was weird. I was These. waiting for Jeremy to finish the dialogue, so I didn't have to find my way there. What if okay. I'm leading you in the correct direction? You know, look, now I'm just kind of walking in circles. Thanks, Jeremy. Just walk. Jeremy, Jer Jeremy time. would never do that because he's not that conniving. So. I don't know whether I should be offended or complimented. Mm, you both. Yeah, he's not conniving, so he's just kind of like he just kind of like exists. Why did you backflip at my rabbit? Is that some Jer sort of insult? Jer Jeremy's basically <clears throat> Jeremy's basically living my life, right? He's the last born. The first born is the the first born is like disappointment all the around the last around. born is just like you forget about them so thanks you, you basically we're basically living the same life which is you know the parents the no. difference the difference is this the difference is this right the first born the parents choose to forget about the last born they accidentally forget about so it's, it's the same thing. Yeah, I would say that Ashley would have been forgotten but Ashley's the only girl so girl, well yeah and she's she overrides yeah. them 
Oh, well, no, but she's not. She's not the last born or the first born. She's middle. Well, technically. she's the middle child. So that's. <laughs> I would said if she was if she was a boy and she was the middle child, she would have been completely forgotten. Welcome, but because she's a girl, she village. gets around that. My home. Yeah, she's the only girl. girl. I think. Right. This is the trial. You should be happy, Ashley. People. You weren't completely forgotten. She's gone. She's not here. She's oh. helping mom with something. She's dead. Good. Like all things considered. Better than okay, the uh, that's anyway. not what I was thinking the snake god They've would sent look an like, but okay. Why is it storming here still? I, I swear it's been storming here for 3,000 years. Still storming again. Exactly. We're here exactly. to help. Will you tell us yeah. what happened? Aye. Yeah. It began with a quarrel oh, between the Imperials and the Kaliana. Kaliana? No, the Kaliana are another Ananta tribe. The strongest and the most influential. gotta shock my back real quick, boys. Hold on. Unlike the Vera, they want no part of our troubles. They swore fealty to the Empire and were content to remain within their borders. <sighs> Just Shock so, again. the Kaliana forsook their pride and the fight, and Thank yielded Grace to Wynn. Garlemald long ago. Do we have a cutscene? Oh, we do. But then a new commander was sent to hold the Black Bridge. She demanded the Kaliana surrender a hostage, this butcher. Oh. She don't look happy. Dola. It doesn't make sense, though. The Vera are the ones working with the Resistance. Why would she threaten the Kaliana? Because she is ignorant like oh, all Imperials. Ignorant. Oh. She knows not the difference between Kaliana and Vera, nor does she care to learn. I mean, the Vera have bunny I ears. I see. All Fadola knew for sure Vera. was that the Resistance would come from the West. She reasoned, therefore, that if the Ananta on the East Bank turned their coats, she would be trapped. I take it the Kaliana had no choice but to oblige her. So the Kaliana are like kind of like no, Egyptian like not. snake people, I guess. The Imperials left with the Kaliana right. brood mother's own huh? daughter, Anamika. Uh, Long guess, days nothing. and nights she what lived out on the Black Bridge So the Kaliana, child, the snake people are like Egyptian snake people. Like it looked, it's very Egyptian like. I would, I would say it's more um, Indian. Oh really? It seems like it seems like like more... the way that they have their their pottery looks. I mean, the, the way that they they knew have at like once the, which way the winds would blow. It's called the veils she that they and wear. Her warriors Even their the uh, weapons, they look like. In the road uh, and demanded that her daughter be crap, returned. I forget what they're called. I forget what they're called. Some sort of uh, Indian curved blade. I can't remember what it's called though. Curved swords. Cur some sort of curved sword. Yes. Scimitar. Yeah. Bad Wait, idea. Is that Indian? Fordola's not the kind I know Scimitar's a curved sword. sword. I think that's Middle East. Are you guys in the it's like Middle Eastern. Know her well. Yeah, I we're talking to almost, her blade almost, to Anamika almost, yeah. And bade the Kaliana move You're aside. But the brood mother would We're talking to the yield. snake people right now. Oh. I know where this is going. Uh oh. Oh, and they killed the him. Kaliana surrounded the Imperials, one of whom, whether out of fear or stupidity, cut the child down. Oh, what yeah. madness. It's. Yeah, okay. The true madness was yet to come. For in her despair, the Kaliana broodmother cried out frick? for her daughter to be restored to life. She beseeched Sri Lakshmi's intercession. Uh oh. She summoned a primal then and then. Oh, primal. Another primal. That she did, if only for an instant. Once again, I didn't think the that the of snake and god honor would look the like that. The sought solace in her faith. I mean, I no, 
I, from what they saw in the cutscenes, it looks the accurate. The Imperials fled in terror at the sight no, of the that, goddess. No, that's not what I meant, because I meant even in this cutscene. Do you think, like, the snake goddess lady would look more just like a big old giant snake, but no. she doesn't? No, it's, it's accurate now to me. I, it was that I would... I, if, make like, if you showed me this and said, what's the snake goddess look like, it would be more Yet immaculate, reveal, more... Reveal, you know, yeah, no, 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 not like a giant snake, but I was thinking, like, one of them just more extravagant looking. It, it not... does. Well, she doesn't have and a so snake tail, or at least she's hiding it, I guess. Uh, yes, you can't tell, but... I... All who have fought with the resistance have heard tell of the warrior. The Icon Slayer. I want to shoot me? a fireball in her face. Yep, it's me. She looked right at me. It's me. Nope, oh, nope, oh, me? Nope. Somebody else? Oh. Shoot. I believe we have heard enough. Inconvenient though the timing may be, if a primal uh, has indeed been summoned, we can scarce afford to ignore it. We must needs discuss how best to resolve this situation. Uh, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Huh? What? 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 Huh? What? Huh? What? Huh? Who? Who? What? Did what now? Where? Huh? Who? Who? What? what? Where? What? I do like the uh, okay, the little quest completions in this uh, area. Alfie, no. I don't even know how to say okay, here. Okay, I have reached the dungeon oh, thingy. Uh, sounding hopelessly naive. There may be yet a way to avoid a violent confrontation. Uh, or rather, your life to address these threats. Yet the primals have faced thus far to demonstrate a variety of temperaments and objectives. Ravana may delight in battle, but Rama would sooner keep to the forest with his children. Yes, yeah, true. Russia will unfold all. Is there a crystal here? Yeah, there is. I gotta get it. Pardon me. I do love the jingle here. That makes the most sense here. Outfit. Ooh, drip. Ew. What? You said a dirty word. Oh, drip? <laughs> Sorry, every time you say it, I can feel my chromosomes. What, dissolving. drip? Nope. There, there goes another one. Mm. This looks good for my drip. Yep. I My IQ <laughs> has gone down like 30 oh, points. That's another drip for me. Mm. 50. Crap. What a drip. And now I'm legally classified as a vegetable. Thanks, Trap. You're welcome. Uh, you've ruined me. Close. It's nearby. Okay. Wait, where's Bren? Uh, he's over here, where me and Jamil are at, waiting at the thingy. Waiting to fight. You guys just, you guys just, you, you guys just uh, skipped the cutscenes, didn't you? I didn't skip the cutscenes, I read them. You okay. I read the dialogue once, and I watched the cutscenes. Sure. I mean, if I read it fast enough, I'll skip it, but I do read it. Okay. <gasps> there it is. I see it in my own eyes. Ether current. Absorb the power. Power of the god in the palm of my hand. <laughs> Are you there yet? Almost, Mama. Almost. Okay. Give me a minute. I'm. I gotta read the dialogue and stuff. You know how Just it takes me to... a little bit longer than everybody else. Yep. Do you want to run it? It's uh, an eight-man trial. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Sarasha. Oh. 
No alcance. Oh. My tricep is just like. Not tricep, my. Short blade is just like an absolute, like, shock right now. Ugh. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. Real Pelana do indeed regard the Lady of Bliss in different ways. Transcendental, be Transcendental beauty. Not while we're around, they won't. Easy. You still kin to the Quinlana. Will you help them to see reason? Count on us. Know that I'll kill your god was an option. Know that I'll kill your god. It's a little bit, uh, feisty. They do all look the same, Mom. You're right. Varya. Find the bright and unbroken. Blue upon your command. Okay. Okay. Follow me? Okay. I follow you. Me follow you. Okay. Are we do -do 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 -do. doing the trial? What? Are we doing the trial tonight or waiting? Uh, we can try it depending on how long it takes me to get to the point there. Um, uh, this way. Done now. We can at least at least give it a shot. Do we have to do it uh with eight people or can we do it un uh unrestricted? Unrestricted someone What? I think we could do it unrestricted, right? I don't know. That's what I'm saying, can someone check? Uh, the caught the path leads to an entrance below. Within is an aetherite. You must use it to enter. Understood. With me, everyone. Okay. I think you can. I think you can do it restricted. There's a big old elephant right there. Holy crap. The frick? Dude, it's huge. What the heck? Oh, current. Ether currents, okay.
Be honest. Okay. Tuning. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oopsie. Okay. What did you do? What? What'd she do? Was I not supposed to click that button? Why, mistress? Uh oh. Why does my anger slumber still? Oopsie. Uh, okay. Ew, what the frick? That looks like skin. Look thee on her face, supplicant. Thy prayer hath been answered. She's got like snake voice, but she doesn't got snake. Oh, yes, she does. Never mind. Yeah, you started the thing. She. She's. must have started it. Only the vessel made. What the heck? Not so the flame which flickered within. Her soul hath been scattered to the four winds. Please. Uh oh. Now do you see her promises for what they are? Alize, have you gone mad? Mayhap I have, but I refuse to stand by and watch yet another tragedy unfold. Okay. Who intrudes upon this sacred ground? Imperials, thirsting for blood. No. No, we come not to shed blood, but to save you from the false god who would lead you astray. I understand how you feel. I do. You loved her with all your heart, but when the moment came, you still couldn't save her. The anguish, the anger, I know it only too well. But I also know where this path leads. To embrace a primal is to condemn yourself to an endless cycle of despair. You will never know peace. A worm-eaten heart may find peace and serenity in service, in beauty and grace. This hath ever been my promise. Naught else. You tempt them with visions of things that can never be and leave them bereft and wanting. No illusion, however sweet, can change the fact that your daughter is gone. Remember her as she was. Do not suffer this piteous shade to tarnish her memory. Oh my gosh. Isaiah just like dropping the bombs, baby. For uh -oh. every prayer that primal answers, it'll demand payment in kind. Do you have any idea how many more Ananta will die to feed its hunger for crystals? They would have thee suffer man's spite and live in fear. Far better to dwell in my beauteous dream than endure so ugly a reality. She's wrong! We hate the Empire as much as you, if you just listen! She's a, so she's a bad primal. Poor misguided children. I would spare you the torments of this cruel and misshapen world. Come, bask in my radiance. Let it fill your hearts and free you from your burdens. Uh-oh. So he's about to fight? Uh-oh. Wait, 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 no, oh, <laughs> okay, all right. Abide in misery then, fools. The Ananta are more deserving of my blessing.
What the frick? Leave these lands and my dreamers be. I will not warn you a second time. Other way, I will wake them from their dream. Okay. And mentation, mentation is now available. Okay. All right then. All right. So that will do it for this one. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of new episodes. And as always, we will catch you in the next one. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.